guys, it's Kate of Potato here and basically today I am going to be doing another Valentine's Day makeup tutorial using Rich Blood by Jeffree Star. This is just, you know, we're just getting into Valentine's Day and I thought I'd give it a bloody good go. So, let's get started on this bad boy. So basically, I've got a little bit of fake tan on, okay? I'll put this away. Um, I am going to be putting on a little bit of O2 Skin Correcting BB Cream because this stuff is actually quite dark on me even though it's meant to be the lightest that they sell well guess what it's it's not so i've already put my base on because i'm organized oh good hope you guys enjoy this audio because i've got a laptop now i literally have a lot laptop just sitting right here um, I'm so excited, I um, don't know what to do with myself. I've been without a laptop for about six weeks because mine broke from water damage or something like that. I don't know. I just don't like talking about it. It was a really good laptop and I paid more for that than I did for this one. So, what you gonna do? It's so hot today. Oh my god. Um, and now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be putting on my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. Uh, what is it? Concealer. So, um, I've ordered the tape, uh, shape tape or tape worm, I don't know what it's called, but, um, I've ordered that and it hasn't come yet, so, bear with. Hope you guys enjoyed, um, the voiceover from Jerry. He, um, was very nervous, but he, I think he did, a, I think he got there in the end. I think he did a really good job. Okay, so now that we look photoshopped, so... Wow, that was intense. Oh, I forgot, I always forget this. I always um, wanna tell you guys what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry. Well, the look that I'm going for today is right here. It is, I saw it and I was like, heart palps. It's so pretty. And um, so I just thought that I'd try to recreate this youthful looking look. She's not wearing any contour, so I'm not going to contour. We're gonna look baby faced today and my favorite powder to use you know I always use this my Australis if my um, microphone just craps out out of nowhere it's because my laptop's died I didn't know that it was on six percent I was using it religiously last night what the hell is that on my I am quickly just going to do my eyebrows Super duper fast. You guys have seen me do my eyebrows 900 million times, so I'm not gonna put that in. Give me one hot minute and I'll be right back. All right, so now the eyebrows are all done, I'm gonna be moving on to eyeshadow. So basically, I'm taking my Sugar Pill Pro and I am taking my favorite shade, um, which is this one here. It is called Suburbia. I am going to be taking that and just running it over my eyes. I am going to be going in with the Modern Renaissance palette, everyone's favourite. Uh, don't know what I'm going to take first, actually, to be honest, just to be quite honest with you. I think I'm going to take that colour, Burnt Orange, just, just to warm it up a little bit. liking it so far. I think it needs a bit more orange. Yeah, it does. It needs more orange. So I'm taking um, Rilke. I don't know if that's the name, but I'm, I'm taking it anyways. Okay, and so now what I'm going to do is um, I'm taking this massive ass white NYX Oh, love that sound. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly do this. Cool, 
cool. So now that we look a bit ridiculous, that w that means we're off to a really good start. Okay, that means we're doing great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this white with white. All right, I'm going to set this. Oh god, it's touching. See, this is why we need to set it. This is why we need to set things straight. Um, I am going to be taking, if I can open it, uh, this 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 white from the morphe palette i don't know what this is called the pablo picasso palette i don't know i have no idea i don't know set it before you regret it literally packing this on okay to get rid of this bull crap i'm just going to blend it out now we're as good as new i am going to be taking this Dolly Wink um, liquid liner. Okay, and I am basically going to wing a wing. Okay, so this one needs to go on a diet. This one needs to be fattened up a bit. Okay, so <laughs> this is how we look so far. And to clean everything up so that it's beautiful I'm gonna be taking my lime crime lunar C and I'm gonna just go over the top of this like this do you see this it looks crazy it really does I'm just gonna let this dry because I don't want this to stick to my eyelid like last time so can everyone just please blow on the screen because that would be really good um yeah so thanks just blow on the screen just do what we did over here on top on the bottom um but i'm gonna like funk it up a little bit i'm going to take i don't think this is a really good brush to do it with what i'm gonna do is for the little like surprise oh my god are you serious I'm gonna be taking summer love and have me a blast. Um, I'm gonna put that just under my eyelash. All right, so next up, I'm gonna do my like inner corner highlight. And this is like when it gets real. This is the real deal, guys. I'm gonna be taking Ice Cold by, I swear to God, I swear to God, I'm about to rip my eyebrows off. That was mum texting me going, me is at my work. Cool. Look at that. Look how unforgiving we're being, you know? So now I'm quickly gonna do my lashes and everything off camera because it's just a waste of time otherwise. Okay, cool. So now the lashes are all on. In the photo, it doesn't look like that she's got um, blush on, but I wanna put blush on, so. I'm gonna be taking Genius, which is the first thing that I saw and I just thought, mm, yeah, this will work. I'm glad I put blush on because it looks quite good. I am going to be putting on uh, some highlight and I'm taking this large blender brush. I'm taking my much loved. I'm going to put that just on my cheekbones because she is literally glowing to the gods. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting on some rich blood. So it's been quite a quick tutorial in my opinion. Um, which I'm pretty pleased about because I hate making you guys sit there for like 20 minutes. It's just not my thing. I just feel bad about it. So I'm gonna chuck this on. Now this, I'm gonna be honest, this is not my fave of faves lipsticks. Um, it just doesn't seem to dry on me. There's something, um, there's like pigments in it that kind of sticks everywhere. Like it, it, it gets everywhere, if you get what I mean. So um, this doesn't dry very well. It doesn't dry matte enough for me. But it is by far a really cool lipstick. Alright, so the lipstick is on. It took me about 200 years to put it on because I wanted to make it look even, but it's not even, so uh, we did good. I had to do a classic red lipstick look for Valentine's Day because if I didn't, then I think I'd get 
um, Poo sent into my P.O. box, which is bound to happen soon anyway, but, you know. Announcement! I um, have a P.O. box now. It is all listed down below. A lot of you guys have been asking. Where is it? What is it? Tell me what it is. It's in the description below. I reply to every single one of you guys. I've got a stack of letters just over there that I just need to put stamps on and it's going straight in the mail. Please make sure that you put your address on the inside of your um, letter that you send to me if you want to write one or like a card or if, a, or if you want to do a drawing. Um, I don't read letters out on camera because they're private. There's been a lot of letters that have been sent to me um, talking about their mental illness and how I've helped them overcome it and I don't like reading that kind of stuff on the camera because if someone did that to me I, I, I don't think I'd appreciate it very much um, and I don't know it's just a letter between me and the person do you get what I mean oh my god are you serious also, second announcement, basically I am coming to Melbourne, so Melbourne get ready to come and see me. I am there from the 24th of February until the 1st of March, that is five days. I get there um, on the 24th late at night and that's on Friday, so I've got a full day Saturday, full day Sunday. So I am going to be doing a meetup, okay, I haven't got like 100,000% Yes, it's going to be at this time. Blah, 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 blah. All I know is, because my auntie lives there, Ryle, as you all know, uh, Ryle told me that the Federation... Can you not? That the Federation Square is probably the best place to do it. Um, so I'm hoping to do that on Sunday. Federation Square, if that makes any sense. Maybe I've, the Feder Federation Centre? I don't know what it's called. Federation Square? Eh. It's on a Sunday. So it's not going to be during school time, because... I wouldn't expect like, yeah guys, meet me at 10 a.m. on Tuesday. <laughs> but, there's a but. When you come to meet me, since I'm going to be in the Federation, the Fed, whatever you like to call it, I was thinking about doing a Feed the Homeless, like Fed the ho Homeless, if, do you get what I mean? So what I want you guys to do is that for the meetup, if you come over and see me, please bring a can of food or a potato. That's kind of like your gold coin donation, I guess, sort of thing. And then all the cans and all the food that I am given, I am going to be finding like the nearest, like the nearest Salvation Army. Do you, go, do you guys know what a Salvation Army is? We call it a Salvation Army. It's a place where people um, are not as fortunate enough to, you know, feed their families or, you know, I'll donate it to a homeless shelter. I really, really want to do that. So if you could please bring um, a can of something or a potato, because can of potato, um, then that will be honestly the coolest thing ever because I really want to donate lots of stuff and give back to Melbourne because I love Melbourne with all my heart. And yes, 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 I will come to Sydney and I will come to Adelaide and I will come to Perth. I will come to Hobart. <laughs> really want to do like an Australian tour at some point when I've got enough dollars. Um, because I, I love giving back to you guys and I love meeting you guys like that's literally my favorite thing So sorry that this video is so long. I've got so much to say So basically that's what I want to do while I'm over there But the point of the trip going over there is just to enjoy myself Boy, My boyfriend's never been before my mum my mum will be visiting her sister It's just gonna be an all cool thing, but hopefully you'll see me wandering about I'm gonna be staying in like St. Hilda area. Thank you so much for watching this guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry that it was so long at the end, but yeah, um, I'll see you all very soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this new audio. Um, but yeah, <laughs> see you later guys. Say hi to your mum for me. Hit the next one that you see, but most importantly, stay groovy. See you later guys. Bye!